the erection! What are you erection? Whoa, is that you, dude? You look so much bigger now. You look so much smaller now. How you been, Juice? Lilo has been so lonely since you left town, you know. Oh, they always want the childhood friends to get together. That's bothersome. Well, some of them like. There are two kinds of spirit clowns in Lauren. Scary skies and blue skies. And when the stars hit the blue sky, they fall to the earth and become the ores that form our minds. Well, that's the legend anyway. It's charming, if a little bit silly. Welcome home, Jude! My, how a fun I have changed you! You have a face of a city boy now! No, I have a face of... Oh, well, actually, the hair is from Leon. I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but you should stay away from the old Vacon mine. That place is just a massive monster nest these days. I was right! Monsters! They say that back during the mining boom, this whole street was packed with merchant stalls. Is that right? I was just thinking how much this quiet little street fits you. <laughs> Screw you, Jude! You moved to the... Hey, let's try her more later. Till then... To hell with you! Ah. Nothing shiny. Nice to shiny. No shiny. Jude, how's the big city treating you? Do you like the capital? Hmm. Who's this? Oh, you ready to see me now, Doctor? I'm sorry, everyone. We have an urgent case here. You'll have to come back in the afternoon. I like all the details in people's outfits. Yep. I like it too. Sorry, everybody. We'll catch you later. Promise! <laughs> <laughs> You've really gotten into the swing of things here, Alea. Best nurse in town. Also, the only nurse in town. But hey, you know how it is. How come our, those, part, those birds right there are darker? Because it's not Bring her, her in. <laughs> Thank you. Hello there, I'm Dr. Mathis. Please, just lie still. I'm Mila. Are you Jude's father? Yes. Can you flex your legs? No. I can barely feel anything below my waist. I see. Ellen, you can leave now. Go check on Jude. Oh, okay. I need to run a few tests. Well, Please mine. bear with me for Looks a bit like longer. Air. Was that Jude's mother? Yes, Jude's our only child. What exactly is your relationship with my son anyway? It's complicated. We're friends. I gave him a pendant as a token of our friendship. Friends, huh? Pardon my skepticism. You look much older than him. And you are a woman. Jude tells me you once healed a human who shared my... condition. Would you give me the same treatment? Possibly. It depends on how these tests come out. I see. Either way, you'll need to remain in the clinic for a while. Why do you sound all mean when you answer that question? Are you an asshole? <laughs> Me. How are you feeling? Fine. I still can't move my legs, of course, but otherwise no complaints. How are the test results? I think my husband, Dr. Mathis, should speak to you directly about that. May I ask you a question? Of course. How do you and my son know each other? <laughs> 
What's so funny? Sorry, it's just that your husband asked me the same question. I suppose this is what's known as parental concern. I get it now. You humans have so many admirable traits. We humans? Jude rescued me from a tough spot back in Fenmont. Because of his actions, he couldn't go back to the city. He's been traveling with me ever since. That sounds like Jude. He hasn't changed. What do you mean? Jude's always been too quick to help others, even when he was a boy. To his detriment, I take it? His friends teased him for it. He was bullied. Uh -huh. Yet he didn't stop? He'd come home all beaten up, but underneath the bruises, he'd still be smiling. What's a mother to do? So that's why you... Ellen, we're getting busy out here. You know this is the only clinic in town. Derek! You need to stop spoiling Jude. He's a man now. Coddle him and he'll just grow softer. Hmm. So this is also parental concern. Although, the funny thing is, he just stood up to me for the first time in his life. He ordered me to use an Asperixis on you. An Asperixis? It would cure me? Let me walk again? Perhaps you are a good influence on him. In his efforts to help you, he seems to have grown bolder. As a father, I'm pleased. But as a doctor, I'm afraid the treatment isn't an option, despite my son's persistence. I see. So that's your final decision? It is. I'm sorry. Very well. I'll just have to find some other way. I see. I'm glad you understand. <laughs> She's like, I'll find some other the way. procedure itself is simple enough, but it's not like you'd regain mobility right away. Hmm? I'd need to apply spirit arts directly to your nervous system. You couldn't move a finger without screaming. The pain would be excruciating. Even in the best case scenario, it would take several months before your nerves adapt to the arts and you could move again. Why are you telling me this? We can't get the spirit fossils needed to run the device anymore. Even if we could, the mana in the fossils escapes just as soon as you uncover them. It's a shame. The Asperixis might have cured you. What are you doing? Shh! <laughs> you can't let my dad hear us. Why not? We're gonna use the Asperixis on you now. But your father just told me it was impossible. Leia, give me a hand. Uh, uh sure. Here, you'll want to lay down on your side. Feel anything? Any pain? No, nothing at all. My leg still won't budge either. Why isn't it working? I don't sense any mana in this stone. Your father said that an Asperixis needs a spirit fossil, or it won't work. A spirit fossil? Those things really exist? Oh. So the special stone mentioned in the medical files is a spirit fossil. Your father also said the fossil has to be used immediately after it's uncovered or it loses its mana. Great. As if the procedure wasn't already tricky enough. Hold on. I swear I remember that they used to find spirit fossils down in the Felgana mine. Are you serious? <laughs> Whoa, jeez, be quiet. 
It's just something my dad told me. Mila, it sounds like we need to take you out for some field medicine. That seems like a lot of work. You'll do that for me? Here. Thank you. Jude, can you help her into the wheelchair? What about you? I have to get stuff ready. I'll meet you at the edge of town. I haven't been back here in a while, but the town hasn't changed one bit. They were sneaking around in her dad's thingy. Go to music. The very common of the music. I I fell off the roof when I was fixing it. Maybe I really need to slow down at my age. What are you doing up there on the roof, old man? I didn't know that was a secret thing over there. I, mean, I didn't know either. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, that's my, maybe that's the reason why you need to push A or over corner you go. Like, wee! Calm down, Mom! Mom. Oh, the end. It's great to see you back home, Jude, and it looks like the city life hasn't softened you up any. Is that woman who came with you your girlfriend, Jude? Dear me, poor Leia can't compete with that. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so good. <laughs> if you're looking for logins and then this place is the best. I used this place for over 20 years. The freak, dude! It must smell like you too. I'm getting out of here. Oh, I'm stuck on the thingy here, Ida. Mm -hmm. My hobby. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm still in. Oh. As Lunaray was once a mining town, there should be plenty of worse stones in the area. Would you help me look for them? Wonderful. Really, I'm looking for a block of quartz. I simply must have one. That have been taken. Hey, get off me. Hello. I guess this town has some doctor who performs special treatments or something. Who were talking about it way over at the Lycurium Scott as um Sea Haven. Oh my god, I hope we're saying all these names right now. Oh. 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 Got a mysterious drool. Can't go into that room. Nice, Mom! That came from the D! Wait, what about you? Food, we need food! Do we need the ones for XP? Let's see, it's. Yay! Oh wait. Oh my god, that's like all the money. Take that oh. back. Oh! Oh! Yeah. It's really small. What is my fault? Okay, okay, let's get some money then. Here's some ones about money. Dip shit. Sucks we can't, uh, we can't freaking, um, buy any stuff with it. Hey, Bark! <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> it leaves. Oh, we get this armor. Many fishes. Accessory. 
Some spelunking. What? Spelunking, she says. Yay! We get a person! Sorry, you can have two back! Uh, yeah, you can stop it! <laughs> oh my god, no, I'm not doing all this. Um, where is it? Auto level. Yes. Van yeah, Barkley! Yeah, Van Barkley! Starbucks in your pocket! <laughs> Alright, oh, now it's time to turn that hairstyle. I don't like it, We're looking. Look at her kind of tan and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's like, oh, you're not tan. Oh, she got, um. Oh, no. It reminds me of something, Sharita. Let's see what else. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, my goodness. So, what was Fenmont like? Come on, you have to tell me everything! Was it like super cosmopolitan? Were you able to make friends? I don't know. It was pretty normal. What, that's it? That's all you have to say? You're always boring everyone with long-winded explanations, but when I ask a question, I get the cold shoulder. Come on, you're blowing things out of proportion. Listen, you're gonna talk and you're gonna tell me everything. You have ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, well, there was a nurse at the school named Prin who was always really nice to me. But on the day I went to see my professor, I got attacked by a girl in red clothes. So then, I couldn't go back to the school anymore. Although that did result in me meeting Mila. Oh, and in terms of other friends, I met this girl named Elise. Fine, I got it! Message received loud and clear! You met all sorts of other girls while you were away. Good job, Jude! I'm so happy for you! I see you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> Are you listening to what you're saying? She got some titles. Okay, be right back, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> 